This has been on my list of videos to make ever since I started on YouTube a couple of years ago, and I'm excited that Skillshare is sponsoring it. More about that in a little bit. I love watching what's in my bag videos myself, and I've received so many requests to make one, so finally feast your eyes. I have two bags, they're both totes and this is my spring summer to fall one. My other bag is incognito. I got it years ago online and it's unmarked, so I can't share the brand unfortunately. This is my fourth LL Bean boat and tote. It's been a few years since I had one last and it feels a little bit like coming home. It's the perfect size tote. Mine is the medium without the zipper. I've always preferred totes and ideally I like them to be portrait oriented if that makes sense. Rectangular but more tall than wide or square like the boat and tote. I also want them to be freestanding so they need to be a hefty material that doesn't slouch when putting them down. I also want a short drop on the handle because I always carry it in my hands or on my arm crease and not on my shoulder. I'm so particular, I know. As I mentioned, Skillshare is sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can choose from thousands of inspiring classes on topics like illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. It's never too late to learn a new skill. I started learning video editing after I turned 50 and I wish I'd known about Skillshare at the time. It would have made it so much easier than to piecemeal the knowledge I have now by googling watching endless YouTube video tutorials that don't give you the full experience of a class. If making videos isn't something you want to learn, there are also classes on logo design, personal branding, creative writing, productivity, cooking, home decor and so much more. I'm currently taking a Lightroom classic photo editing class with Tabitha Park. I've been dabbling in Photoshop but have been curious about Lightroom for years and I'm excited to finally learn from scratch. For a limited time use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. After that it's less than $10 a month. Thank you Skillshare! Moving on to what's actually in my bag. iPhone 8 Plus. This is my work phone that I can also use privately, which means I only ever need to carry one phone around. Two reusable shopping bags. In my bag I keep two bags for groceries. Mine are both from Bagu and they're great for that post-work run through the supermarket. I like that they each have a little sleeve so they don't just sit in my bag like a crinkled mess. A lip balm. I like this particular brand, but this one I actually refilled myself and it's got a minted taste. My AirPods. I love the freedom of these, but still getting used to having to adjust the volume on the phone itself. Keys. I try to keep keys to a minimum. I have the ones for my apartment, but also spare keys to my son Villa's place. Keys that aren't in constant use, such as luggage keys and random keys to my building, are not on there. I keep those in my apartment. The Perfect Grey Fabric Swatches I'm always on the lookout for a big enough wool throw that can cover the whole seat of my sofa. These two grey wool swatches match, so I can compare if I stumble on a blanket, a throw or even fabric by the yard. An umbrella I like to walk and the weather in Stockholm is unpredictable to say the least. I try not to get the cheapest umbrellas as they usually don't last even through one storm. Sunglasses. Again, unpredictable weather and I have sensitive eyes so my sunglasses are with me at least 9 months of the year. I've worn Ray-Ban Classic Aviators for probably 2 decades. I lost my pair last summer and got a different brand to switch things up but I didn't like them, so I got me a new pair of Ray-Bans.
my wallet. I like a slim wallet slash card case that can easily be carried around if I don't want to bring my tote. This is an inexpensive one from Swedish brand Vera. My instinct is always to choose black for everything, but black accessories tend to get lost in the depth of my bags, so this one is animal print. I immediately find it in that black hole that is a bag. And a makeup bag without much makeup. And here are some meds, nail stuff, tooth stuff, hand cream, mints and all that. And of course, in my bag, in the new normal, hand sanitizer. So, while we're at it, let's take a closer look at what's in my wallet. My wallet holds my driver's license. I don't drive, but it's easier to renew a driver's license than an ID card. A debit card? No credit card, no cash. I don't even know what the cash looks like since they changed the coins and notes a few years ago. A lot of shops and restaurants are even card only, and as for checks, we haven't used those in the Sweden since the 80s. A key card for work. Public transportation card. A Skansen annual pass. As many of you know, I love Skansen, our local open air museum. If you ever come to Stockholm, I highly recommend a visit. A photo of my son Ville from when he was younger. Some stamps. I am a person who still occasionally sends snail mail. My hairdresser's business card and a loyalty card from a local shoe store. A shopping cart coin, which comes in handy since I don't carry cash. And this is my donation card. In case anything bad should happen, I'm donating all my organs. Oh, in my alive state, I also will share my bone marrow with you if you're in need and if we're a match. Things I also keep in my bag occasionally are groceries. If I go to buy a few things, they will totally fit in there and I don't need to get the bagos out. Working part-time from home means I also carry a heavy laptop around a couple of times a week and it fits in here too. And that's what's in my bag. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Also, please consider subscribing. I'll continue sharing all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Thanks for watching. Hej då!